So, you want to know if mugshots are in the public domain. Why exactly do you want to know that? Do you have something to hide, maybe? It's okay, we're not here to judge. Maybe you'd like to use a celebrity's mugshot on your blog. Maybe you'd like to make a collage of mugshots for an art project. Here at New Media Rights, we answer a variety of questions about the media and the law. I'm Courtney, and I can answer your questions about mugshots, as long as you promise not to use any of my mugshots. Works made by the federal government are considered to be in the public domain. This means that anyone can reuse a mugshot made by the FBI or the DEA for any reason without getting permission. All photos of federal arrests are released in the public domain, and if they're not already published, you can get a copy sent to you if you make a Freedom of Information Act request. Uh, that's also known as a FOIA request. Most mugshots are made by the state government, though. Although a lot of states make all of their work public domain, just like the federal government, not all of them do. You should look up the rules of your state to know what your state does and doesn't consider public domain. If your state is stingy and decides it wants to hold a copyright over mugshots taken in the state, you may still be able to use the mugshot because of fair use. After all, if you reuse a mugshot for the purpose of illustrating a fact as proof that the person in the picture was arrested, then it might be fair use. If you reuse a mugshot to talk about how hideous that celebrity looked when they got arrested, that might be fair use too. Also, you could even make the argument that mugshots aren't protected by copyright at all because the police taking the mugshots are simply taking a photo of a fact, and facts are free for everyone to use. What makes a mugshot factual? It's recording the fact being that this person was arrested. Unlike a photograph you'd see in a museum, there's no originality in the photo. Police actually try to avoid adding originality in terms of lighting and shot composition. They don't choose their subjects. I could go on and on, but I'm probably already boring you. Either way, as you've probably seen, state jails and county facilities will often put the mugshots of their inmates online since they are public records. But you may run into a situation where you can't find a mugshot of someone even though you know they've been arrested. This is because the government has rules to keep some record secret. This is called sealing a record. This record sealing is common in witness protection cases, closed adoptions, juvenile criminal records, child sex offenses or custody cases, state secrets, and trade secrets. But the basic rule of thumb is that if you have access to the mugshot and you didn't hack into a computer or perform any espionage, then the picture is in the public domain. So feel free to use the photo as you wish without fear of being thrown in jail. But before you decide that you're going to use somebody's mugshot to humiliate them or ruin their lives or sell your products, be aware that even public domain public records like mugshots may still be protected by right of publicity laws. That's too much to talk about here, but click the annotation that will appear here someday to learn more about the right of publicity laws. For any other questions, feel free to contact us here at New Media Rights. We provide free, one-on-one -on -one legal counseling and support for the arts. We survive by accepting donations from quizzical folks like yourself, so feel free to leave us a donation at our YouTube channel or at newmediarights.org. A mugshot of a mugshot. Yeah, a mugshot of a mugshot. I was like, that's, I'm thinking about it. that's a very oh. special exception yeah. they've carved out. <laughs> the mugshot of the mugshot exemption.